the story and the opportunity of a lifetime. Right now is going to be the single best opportunity we have ever seen in the history of financial wealth. Are you ready to create financial wealth for yourself and your families? Make sure to stay tuned right to the very end of this video. We are going to see some absolutely powerful and incredible, interesting information, news that shall be coming out and uh, we'll see exactly where we are in the chart. Make sure you are subscribed to Crypto Bliss and let's get on with it. Yesterday, I released a Cardano video for you with Snack, Snack Fun. Um, you need to go and watch that video. It is very, very serious. There is an infinite amount of wealth that you can create over the next little while. So make sure to stay pumping on my channel. All right, let's get on with it. And if you want to come and trade with me, you know that you can use my Bybit link down below. Get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus. My Bitflex link down below. Get yourself up to $88,888 bonus. And let's go and trade together. But there's something in the chart that I've noticed. And if you can see it, it is kind of sitting here at the moment. But we'll come back to this in a short moment. I just want to show you why I'm so convinced that we are just about to use the current position where we're at as a launch pad in our chart. All right, so with that being said, today we can see that even though the markets fell, there was a, the S&P has now erased about $2.2 trillion of market cap in the first week of September. Microsoft fell by 1.76%, Nvidia fell by nearly 5%. Apple fell by 1%, Google by 3.5%, Meta by 3.5%, Amazon by 3.5%, Tesla by 7%. So many massive, massive losses came in the market yesterday and hence 2.2 trillion was wiped out. One reason, okay. Your next reason is, is that jobs came in. So June and July jobs were just revised lower by an additional 80, 86,000 jobs, okay. This is the second time that the June jobs report was revised lower. Six out of the last seven jobs reports have now been revised lower per zero hedge. In fact, 11 out of the last 15 jobs reports has now been revised lower. We are talking about millions in jobs revisions over the last two years. What is happening here? So the actual economic release values is the blue. The last price is the gold and the green is US employees on non-farm payrolls. And US employees on uh, payroll. So you can see here that the actual in the green has actually been diminishing. So they're down 86 million jobs, uh, 86,000 jobs is what they're actually talking about here. And so, with that being said, you can see here that you should not be going anywhere in crypto because the all time high in hash rate has just been reached. We literally are at the most insane amount of hash rate. And that is sitting at above 7 DMA, just under seven, uh, 700 um, DMA, uh, 7 DMA, 700 million. Okay, so 100K is on the way. All right. I don't know about you, but when you look at cash, cash is trash. Not always, because some people think cash is king. Cash can be king in many ways. But that is, of course, with currencies that are still maintaining and holding their value. And somewhat the dollar seems to be just hanging on by the its kind of little string, its last little thread. You can see here in Venezuela, they need Bitcoin. The cash is just all over the streets and nobody actually gives rocks about it. So you don't want to be caught when you see that we hit a breakout out of this very interestingly down sloping trend pattern which we have done on multiple occasions. So here you can see after the breakout, after the breakout in the accumulation phase, breakout, boom, boom, reaccumulate. This one didn't even pull down. This one's pulled all the way down. Imagine the momentum that is about to come in. And this is just the total two that we're referring to because altcoins are trading at about 60 to 80% while total two is testing its long-term trend line support, which has been solid support in the past. Coincidence? Maybe not. I do not believe so myself. This is powerful. Okay. We are seeing some of the most incredible value in history ever. Bitcoin, the real bull market has not even started. I do agree because look at this. This is the bottoming phase. Bottom, accumulation, 
consolidation, breakout, retest, bull cycle. We are here right now in this current market. We still have a few more phases. Look at this. We're going to have another pump and then a huge dump. Another pump, then a dump. Pump, then a massive bear market. That's what tends to happen out here. So, guess what? Bottom, accumulate, pump, consolidate, breakout, retest, bull market, and look at where we tested over there. Boom, pump up, pull back. Pump up, pull back. So we have not even begun that yet. There's very much probably two to three more rallies in this cycle at minimum, okay? Because there are a lot of very interesting things happening. This happened in this cycle. Bottom, accumulate, pump, consolidation, breakout, barely retest, somewhat retest, pump, massive accumulation right here right now and then so therefore we should be starting our next phase in the bull cycle my personal target is 300k and you can see that that's probably heading to around that 220 to 300k level Oof, wow september tends to be bearish but is that a real fact no september tends to consolidate you can see here june hits somewhat of a bit of a bounce then July and August, it kind of retraces that bounce. And then from September onwards, we have the pump. The same thing here. June, bounce. July, August, fall. September, consolidate. And then rally. The next rally is going up to like 125 to 145, 50K. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Once again. Co, uh, tw uh, 2019, so 2019, boom, one, two, three. You can see here, one, two, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bounce, December 2, 2019. I wonder if this might end up being the same. Eight at possibly now around October. Let's call it October. Pump up a little bit, consolidate, and then start to continue the rally. What do you think about that down below? And so then, therefore, we continue to see October, pump, March, pump, uh, July, pump. As you can see here, we are here currently with this much left to go. We are at the point three. Point three here was only on this bull cycle. One, two, three. We haven't even begun this bull cycle yet. With that being said, long cur log curves that are extended you can see that we are still chilling in the middle here. The first level is 94K, the second is 130, and the third is 180. You think that we could hit 180K by the end of next year? According to CryptoCon, let me know your thoughts. What is your target? Let me know. Love to know. So here you can see the halving cycle theory sine waves. You can see that once we reach the top in the sine wave, it is only at this point where we still have a massive rally to have. Okay, the same thing's happening here. Massive rally, and again, boom. And we are still here right now, possibly taking us all the way to just before. Yeah, you can see here, November 20, 28, 2025. Somewhere before then, you should damn well be taking your profits, okay? And according to this, this Bitcoin could be between 110K to 160K. I don't know, minus 300K, but that's mine. Cheers to you. I'm having my delicious vanilla mesquite coffee with coconut crema. Thanks to Synergy Organics. Mm. Ah, delicious. And so, I heed you in caution. Because right now, we can pull all the way down here to 47k, which might bring us to about the 0.50, which we've tested once already. Could we come down again? The MACD is looking kind of a little bit exhausted at the moment, and so is the so is the the RSI, the stochastic RSI pulling down. But remember, it pulled down all the way here and then it started to turn and then it made a rally of second to none. 
So could the same thing be happening and could we retest and bounce and then maybe come up all the way to the 1618, pull back, then pump all the way up here to the 3.618, pull back, and then pump all the way up to 300k, which is just above 4.26, and pull back ridiculously into the bear market, right down to this the same current levels as we are today. Only time will tell. Maybe in the future we'll come back to this video, but when you're in the future, we don't need to. Because right now you can see the BTC dominance is starting to now officially top out and exhaust itself in terms of buying pressure. Now, is this going to happen? I don't think so. We still have not seen all of the money and the liquidity coming in. So for me, I think we can just gonna consolidate here. We see one more very hard pump up in the BTC dominance, probably up to my target here, the minimum 61%. Okay. Every single time it has reached up to the downward sloping trend line. So why would it not? And that downward sloping trend line is about 62.8 to 63%. If it did that, you can see that it would probably just pump one last time and then a major pullback. And that would be the then official altcoin season. All right. So as you can see here, this is the level that this reached all the way down to. It actually tapped this peak here, which was the topping effect after we had seen the, the rally after the ETFs were launched. And so you can see that that level reached this resistance. It reached the resistance, it pulled back and it broke through and it's retesting. It's retesting it once, two, three times. Now, the irony behind all of this is that even though if I zoom out a little bit here very quickly, I have shown you this very massive head, a sh shoulder, head and shoulder pattern that is currently forming. Now, the most beautiful thing behind that is, is that right now, this is the launch pad that I was referring to when I spoke about my entrance earlier on. And ironically, the launch pad looks something like this. One bottom, two bottom, and three bottom. Back there, my friend, is called a triple bottom. And so with a triple bottom, we could exponentially start to see some of the craziest, craziest momentum start to work, wash out here and then start to hit its breakout. Okay, that's probably what's going to be happening. And the breakout target is just a simple 103,000, okay, to 120,000. I don't know, do you know? Because if you knew, we'd all be stinking, filthy, ridiculously, insanely wealthy. But guess what? Look at the stochastic RSI on this point. It is retesting and is looking to bust up and wake up to the top side. The MACD is coming kind of into a zone where it's coming, uh, becoming exhausted. And so when we look at the dollar, the dollar, it hit here, it rebounded and has retested it right now. It, tried to test the bottom there but this stochastic is over over bought the macd however is pushing up in volume a little bit maybe it needs a steeper retracement and so the deeper retracement could bring us up to the 50 even to the 100 i've seen the dollar do that countless times because that there my friend is called manipulation all right because if the dollar if everybody knows the dollar is going down how does the dollar keep like gasping for its last breath i mean maybe actually who knows but then there again lies another clue to our answer in this video as to where we are because on the usdt market cap dominance you can see here topped out popped out and topped out popped out that's a pretty much a triple top right there on the usdt dominance therefore for me telling me that we could be over extended and due for a massive drop and this is particularly why we are actually seeing all the others and if, and the total two etc also somewhat reveal a triple bottom effect busy happening therefore we're seeing triple bottoms and triple tops on all of these things and right now this is a very strong clue especially on all the crypto assets this is getting ready to bounce to the top. Look at where we were here. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this magic momentum. It's like it's getting ready with all of this. Just getting ready to really tackle 
some incredible energy right throughout. So I would be very, very much looking to see what cryptos we could get in un under our belts because right now you can see it's finding very strong support on a much higher time frame and getting ready to make its move way up here having much more dominance doubling tripling even quadrupling in its market cap a little bit of sad news here veteran trader peter brand issues bitcoin alert says that btc is forming a bearish pattern so you see here this is where the bearish pattern is forming okay so according to this if we do break below the wedge that will uncertainly i mean certainly and undoubtedly become very bearish but because october's returns are always very beautiful and september's returns are a little bit bearish generally what we see is that we could dip down further i previously said even up to the 38k level and i said that in this video 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 but at the end of it all bitcoin is still going to come out much stronger and much more powerful crypto analyst says ethereum could fall further if ETH support level crumbles maps path forward for bitcoin in other words the same thing is applying here to ethereum as it is to bitcoin because bitcoin is of course the king of crypto assets but need i remind you one last time but before i show you make sure you are subscribed to the crypto bliss channel make sure you are with me hanging out in my community sharing the love with everybody else all right the last thing that i want to show you is that even though we always see this this is the bitcoin chart this is the refreshed bitcoin chart this goes all the way up to 2035 right now well i've shown you a few other things but right now we are still in the accumulate zone it bitcoin is still cheap and you can damn sure as heck continue to hodl your bitcoin probably all the way until about 350 to 480 thousand dollars in this cycle okay according to this then a deep pullback and retracement all the way back down to ironically here at the halving point even before the halving point like fifty eight thousand dollars that's what i just keep saying to you and keep reminding you and i keep repeating myself but it is not altcoin season yet but it is looking like it wants to break up and lose dominance look at this amazing down sloping trend that we need to that we're almost testing right now that we break out if this breaks out of say 32 i'm going to say to you that the likelihood of us heading into an altcoin season over the next three to four months is starting to look absolutely ridiculously juicy now remember when it breaks out it has to break out retest and then pump that's what i keep saying to you make sure you're subscribed to the channel thanks for being here truly appreciate you i'll see you on the next one you blessed beautiful souls